How to crochet the basket weave stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Spot, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Bare Naked Wools line in the color Cocoa. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of eight. Now before we begin, we're going to do a prep row. So we'll start with one double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, then we're going to do a double crochet into each stitch across our entire foundation row or foundation chain. Row one, we're going to begin by chaining three. This will count as a double crochet and we'll make sure we have turned our work as well. All right, then we are going to skip the first stitch, that's this one right underneath our chain and do a front post double crochet around the post of the next four stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook behind the post here and we will draw through and work our double crochet as normal. Okay, and we're gonna do that four times total. So that was one, two, Three, and four. All right, so now we'll move on to the next part of our repeat and we will do a back post double crochet around each of the next four stitches. So here's the same thing, but instead of coming through the front here, we're gonna come around the back. So we're gonna come through the back side around the post and then we will work our double crochet and we'll do four of these as well so we're just treating the post as if it is a part of our stitch here and so we're using this as our loop that we're going through otherwise it's exactly the same as a double crochet all right, so that's three, and four, all right. So now we will continue repeating this sequence across until we reach the last four stitches in our row. So we're gonna finish up this row by doing four more front post double crochets. Okay, and when we finish up our four front post double crochets, we'll do a just a normal double crochet into the top of our turn chain. All right, and then we'll turn our work. Row two, we're going to begin by chaining three. And we're gonna skip our first stitch, and we'll begin by doing a back post double crochet around the next four stitches. So just like what we did before, but we're reversing it. And again, this will start our repeat. So 
We're coming through the back of the post. Okay, like so. Then we're going to do a front, front post, double crochet around the next four stitches. Now we're doing our back post double crochet and we'll repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last few stitches in our row. And when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we're going to do four more back, pro back post double crochets. Okay, and we'll finish up by doing a double crochet into the top of our turn chain. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row three, we're going to repeat row one, so we'll start with a chain three. Then we're going to skip the first stitch and do one front post double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So when you're doing the front post double crochet, now that we've done a few of them into the stitches below, we're always going to be coming up into this part of the stitch right here. All right, so there's four. Then we're going to continue our repeat by doing one back post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So we're picking up this stitch right here and coming through. keep getting caught. I was getting caught on this stitch right here, so you have to watch when you're bringing your hook through, not to snag it. Okay, so there's our four back post double crochet, so we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. And when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we will do four more 
front post double crochets. And then we will finish off with a double crochet into the top chain of our turn chain. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row four, we're going to begin by doing a chain three. Here we are repeating row two. So we will start our repeat by doing one back post double crochet into the next four stitches. And then we are going to repeat, continue our repeat by doing one front post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. All right, and we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. All right, when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we will do four back post double crochets. One into each of the next four stitches. Careful not to drop your stitch. And we will finish up by doing a double crochet into the top chain of our turn chain. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row five, we're going to repeat row two again. So we will chain three. Then we are going to do a back post double crochet into the next stitch. Now you'll notice that we're starting to offset our basket weave here. So this inset part right here is going to begin on this section now once we start doing the back post double crochet. So we're going to be reaching through and grabbing that post and drawing a loop around it. All right, let me try that again. So we're coming through and we're drawing through like that. Okay, just like we did before, except the post is on the front side now, at least for this row. All right, so we've got our back post double crochets. Now we're going to switch to front post double crochets. So for the next four stitches, we'll be doing a front post double crochet. So we're gonna grab that post there and come through behind it. And that will make our post come pop out on the front.
And one of the cool things about this stitch, the way that it's worked, is it makes these little ridges here that are across actually kind of pop out so it looks like this is really being woven into the fabric. The repeats on this pattern are pretty long. They're eight repeats, but or eight rows for each repeat, but the nice thing is that you're only really memorizing two rows that you just repeat over and over again. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way to the last five stitches in our row. All right, when we get to the last five stitches in our row, we'll be doing one back post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Make sure you yarn over before you go in the loop. And then we'll finish off with a double crochet into the top chain from our turn chain. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. All right, row six, we are going to chain three and we'll be repeating row one here. So we're gonna skip the first stitch, then we'll be doing one front post double crochet into each of the next four stitches and by now we should have this down pretty good so I'm just going to go through this fairly quickly and we'll alternate to our back post double crochets And we're going to continue repeating this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. All right, when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we'll be doing our front post double crochet into the next four stitches. And we'll finish up with a double crochet into the top chain from our turn chain. Then turn our work. Row seven, we're going to repeat row two once more. So we'll chain three. Then we'll go into our back post double crochet stitches. We'll be doing four of them. Okay, now we're going to switch over to our front post double crochet stitches.
and then we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. All right, when we get to the last five stitches in our row, we will do our four back post double crochets. Make sure your stitches are tight. And then we'll finish up with a double crochet into the top chain of our turn chain. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. Row eight, we're going to repeat row one one last time. So we will chain three and we're going to do our front post double crochets. All right, now we'll switch to our back post double crochets. And then we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. All right, row. And when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we will again do our front post double crochets. Okay, and then we will finish by doing a double crochet into our turn chain. Then we will turn our work. So we're going to repeat rows 1 through 8 until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the basket weave stitch. Want more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.